Queensland state government will plunge its budget into deficit and debt as it plans to spend $11.2 billion on cost of living relief as Premier Stephen Miles and Treasurer Cameron Dick fight to hang on to power. Cynics see the cash splash as an attempt to win back support and buy votes ahead of the next state election. The Miles Labor government's first budget could well be its last. Polling ahead of the October election spells disaster, but Treasurer Cameron Dick has outlined a bold economic plan to try and turn things around. This budget is about doing what matters for Queensland now through cost of living relief while building the Queensland we all deserve in the future. Most of the government's cost of living measures had been announced well in advance. $1,000 energy rebates, 50 cent public transport fares, 20% discounts on car registrations and $200 vouchers to help families cover the cost of kids' sport. All only temporary measures, all widely viewed as a ploy to buy votes and all contributing to huge government debt. Forecasts show the government is heading for a $100 billion budget blowout. $75 billion in debt was inherited from the Newman government. This year, it's $108 billion. By 2027, $170 billion in the red. But in that year, a budget surplus is expected. We've got net debt that has increased under this government in the last 10 years by 9,048%. We make no apology for going into deficit so we can ensure Queensland families, their family budget, stays in balance. The government's windfall from huge tax hikes on the coal industry has become crucial new revenue. An additional $26 billion has been allowed for its renewable energy and jobs plan, but there's still little detail about the centrepiece Burdekin Pumped Hydro Project. If you talk to energy experts, as I do regularly, they will describe the Queensland Renewable Energy and Jobs Plan as the most detailed, the most thought through plan of its kind anywhere in the world. Plan's so detailed, what's Burton um, Pump Hydro going to cost? Well, that work is still underway. The plan allocates uh, $12 billion from the total of $62 billion to deliver that. No hints yet that the LNP opposition will follow its federal government counterparts into talking up a nuclear energy future. We've always been clear on that, Harry, that obviously the federal government has their own position. Our position on nuclear has always been consistent, that until there is bipartisan support at a federal level, uh, then it's merely a hypothetical question. The opposition's previously announced that a centrepiece of its budget reply would be an increase on the first home buyer concession for stamp duty on properties valued at $500,000. Today, the government has stolen its thunder, announcing a threshold increase of its own for properties costing $800,000. The Treasurer's budget promo tour is now underway. The opposition will deliver its budget reply Thursday night. In Brisbane, Harry Clark, Sky News.